we're just a couple of hours away now from Facebook's announcement about its, quote, new home on Android. Joining us now is Chris Ruby. I want your prediction. What is this new home on Android? I want, just tell me, what are they going to say at 1 o'clock? I think what they are going to say is really going to be the launch of a new uh, Facebook mobile phone. What's that mean? Well, essentially, it will be an entire phone based on the Android platform. It's not a new phone made, a physical phone made by Facebook. No, it's not that. It will be, it's essentially a new platform. But Facebook will be backing it where it will be less obtrusive ads. Hold on. What does this mean? A new platform. I don't get it. Tell me. It will be a new phone, essentially, where Facebook is backing it and they're backing the app of it. So it's no longer just going to be an app on an iPhone, for example. It will be an entire ecosystem of Facebook behind it. So when I turn on my smartphone, if I had one, and if I had a Facebook account, up pops the Facebook page. Yes. Right from the get-go. Yes. Okay. And then I can choose from what I want on that Facebook thing. Yes. And that's going to be popular, do you think? I think it will be popular. You know, I think what's really interesting right now is in this whole smartphone um, debate, what's happening is Apple cool? Is the Facebook phone going to be cool? Is BlackBerry, Samsung? What is going to be the leader? What's going to emerge as the number one cool smartphone? And you think it's a winner? If, if I turn on my smartphone and up pops my Facebook page, you think that's a winner? You know, I do. I actually, there's an interesting statistic that just came out recently stating that people check Facebook 15 times a day. Yeah, but Facebook has to be, make money off of ads. How is Facebook still going to get over that hurdle of not annoying Facebook users with ads on their mobile phones? I think they have a long way to go with that, actually. I, I do think that they have to find a balance because what's happening right now is people are getting bothered by the obtrusive ads. So if they can come out with a new phone and a platform in which they're going to go against that and they, they find a way to get rid of the ads on that phone, then that will work. If they don't, it will not be a win. We spend a lot of time on this program talking about what's cool in high tech. And yes. we have collectively decided, I think, that Apple has lost a good degree of its cool. Yes. Is Facebook still cool? Facebook is still cool. Yes. It is? It is. I mean, with people, with people checking their phones or, or, or Facebook 15 times a day, and, you know, 75% of Facebook users check it within an hour of waking up. I mean, this is integrated into people's lives. But is it still cool with teenagers yes, who are exactly. the leading edge? Right. Yes. Oh, cool. It is still cool with teenagers. Facebook is still cool. I think what's de declining in coolness actually is Apple right now. Oh, yeah. Well, they're clearly on the downside. I mean, yeah. They're down to about $430 a share. That's declining in, co in the coolness factor. Why? Because it's so readily available, and with, with rumors coming out that they're going to, Apple's going to be releasing um, a, an iPhone that could potentially be significantly less expensive than the current iPhone. That's I not good? It's not good. It's going to make it more readily available to the mass market, and that goes against what uh, Steve Jobs originally wanted and his pillars of where he saw the, you know, the so vision it's going. it's not elitist any longer? It will not be. <laughs> no, I believe that it will be a decline okay. in the coolness yeah. factor. Anything to add to that? Well, well, one last thing. I do, I just as long as I got this straight, if they, if they come out with this announcement, as you suggest, if I had a smartphone, I turn it on, and up comes Facebook, my Facebook account. That yes. would be what you think they're going to announce, right? Yes. I've got to cut through all the jargon because I don't understand it. I'm you a very would have simple to buy guy. An H you would have to, the word is, the report is, you have to buy an HTC phone to get yeah. the Facebook onto that phone. HTC phone? Yes. What's that? That's what the reports are saying they're going to announce. Yeah. But if I've got a smartphone and I've got a Facebook account, if they do what you think they're going to do, I'll see smartphone, no, no, I'll see Facebook pop up on my smartphone. Correct, if you That's buy it. an HTC phone. Do yeah. we all understand yeah. this? Because yes. I do. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> they want to enter the mobile market in a big way. Okay, I think I understand that one. <laughs> now I got it. I'm, in a I'm big way. It. I mean, it's taking my time. Christine Ruby, thank you very much indeed. Appreciate thank that. Thank you.